Hello, good afternoon everybody. Thank you for coming to join me. Um, I'm having a bit of a deja vu because I think this is about the fourth time I've tried to do this video now. Things just aren't going right for me. I keep switching my camera off or not switching it on properly and it keeps stopping and starting and I just don't know how you join videos together so it's a case of start again for me. So this is part two of my envelope um, folio flip and if you remember when you were with me last time we put the three envelopes together um, and I started to decorate them so I'd done this one uh, which is the front and I've put a, um, a late name plate number uh, title plate on there I've put a pocket down here at the bottom and I've used one of Brigida's um, summer, uh, summer labels there and there's a pocket just there as well I covered the flap you don't have to um, it but I you know I've, I've extended it because I, I do intend to put a piece of lace down there um, I've done the back so I've put a pocket at the side this time because there's going to be lace coming over that edge slightly so there's a pocket just there and a pocket there and again these labels are from the summer labels kit and then that's the travel kit again um, on the inside there we or I decided to put um, a couple of postcards on there as pockets and then I've got a couple of postcards there that I've uh, backed and they're going to go in there as kind of journal cards but obviously you know if you were using this you can put anything you like in there and then I've kept the pocket just there so that's where I'm at at the moment um, I've covered this page with a whole piece of paper and I've just left a little board around the edge so it's the same as the other ones and that's the one I'm going to work on today um, and I'd actually already done it um, but my camera wasn't on so what I want to do on that bit is a waterfall um, the say the, a, a waterfall flip that's um, is sorry I'm I'm losing my completely losing the plot right what I want to do on there is one of the waterfall flips that Jean from Inky Owl Studio does sorry for that that was really hard to get out I feel really nervous today I don't know why so I'm just going to show you the way that um, Jean from Inky Owl Studio does it and that's the way that I'm doing it because I've not done one before so I want my pocket to or my flip to be four inches wide because I think I'm going to use it as a belly band so I'm using card that's it's about 100, 120. Um, so it's not that it's not that thick, but I'm covering it with paper as well. So it will get um, thicker, obviously, as I go along, won't it? So the way that this works. Sorry, I've not. I need another piece of card, don't I? I need two pieces. Silly Billy me. So two pieces of card. The width whatever width you want your flip to be totally so you know you can play about with what you've got until you you know you've got the right sizes so you want the first you don't have to do it this size but this is the size I'm doing it the first flip I want to be two inches deep so I'm going to have my flips all uniform at two inches because I want it to be eight inches in total. So that was easier for me to do. So I've done a fold there um, of two inches. The next one would have a fold at four inches. Can you see where this is going? And then when it goes in there, oh, it would need to be the other way around, wouldn't it? Because I've not got my pieces of card the right lengths. Um, so no matter, I can... Let me cut this one to two inches as well. So where that flap that I've just done four inches, I'm going to cut it at two so that I've got two, two, two. And then that one, if my card had been long enough, it's two inch, two inch, two inch, and that would have been two inches as well. So I'd have three, one, two, three flips, and then the back one so I've got four in total okay so just for demonstration purposes pretend I've done it right I think I've got one that I just glued together I've hidden it so here's one I did earlier so I've got them all together two inch two inch two inch two inch and it's four inches wide these I've glued together but you can 
stitch along there because don't forget you want it to be able to flip up so on the one that I've actually made I've glued it in there now the way that um, Jean does it then is her image that she's going to put on she cuts it slightly wider than four inches um, and she's going to glue it or she glues it onto here so let me let me do that bit and show you how it works it's really simple honestly if I can do it <laughs> without stopping and starting my camera, we all can. So I've put some glue on that top flip and I'm gonna match up one of the corners. It's quite hard to see what I'm doing at this angle. I'm gonna glue that on so that's just glued itself to the first flip. And then I'm gonna turn that over and cut the excess off. I could see what I was doing. Sorry if you can hear somebody drilling. It's one of those days today where everybody's out doing what they need to do. We've got lots of um, house renovations going on up and down the street at the moment. So there's all sorts of drilling going on. So there we go. So there's piece number one. Now for piece number two, make sure you've got your paper up the same way. We're going to put glue on the second page, but we're going to put it all the way up to the top flip. So carefully, without gluing that one. Come on, glue. Come on, glue. You can do it. We're going to put that on there. And then matching up, because that's the way that you're doing it. I'm matching this corner to this side every time without, without fail. And match the picture above all the lines match down stick that on there and then I'm going to cut that off as well and by doing it this way your picture um, fits seamlessly you, you're not having to measure your pieces out um, and cut them and then the, they don't fit when you've done it so I think it's a brilliant way of doing it I'm really pleased I saw Jean's demonstration and then that one's going to go on there so that's going to my glue's dry the glue nozzle's ending up isn't drying up I would put more glue on there but I'm only doing this one to show you how what how the process works but I'll link Jean's video again so again matching it up along there and bumping it up to that one there we go and then cut it off oops Daisy cut it off again what a disjointed craft with me this has ended up I feel really out of sorts because I've stopped and started so so often I'm not quite sure what I've done and what I haven't done at the minute I think sometimes you have just have days like that. So this could in fact be a, a three bit flip. Or I could put that on the end there and use it, couldn't I? So let's do that. Let's just glue that on there. And then I can use that in something else. It can go in my made for future pile, can't it? Oh. Cut off the end. So it'll have a smaller bit at the end. That's fine. Oops, wrong way around. Just make sure that you keep your papers up the right way. Oops, Carol. There we go. Snip that off there. And then I'm just going to cut that off there. So there I have got another one. One two three four and it keeps the picture perfect okay i like that so that can go in my use for next time but here's one that i made earlier but i'd switched you off and this is the one i'm going to use so i used the one with the birds on so hopefully you we're back to where i started from okay so that's going to go on there um i'm going to have a ribbon closure to hold it all nice and flat and I think that's about dry now so I want to put a piece of ribbon on the back and I'm going to glue that on 
and I know this is four inches isn't it so half of four even I can do that is two so I'm going to put a bit of glue on there to glue my ribbon on with the closure and then that won't come off I wonder if I should put a piece of paper or something over it I don't want it to interfere I might just stick that over it as well. I don't it because I, I'm going to put it on as a kind of belly band, I think. Um, so I don't want it interfering or banging on anything else that I might put in. But I just feel that I want to put something across there just to help keep that piece of ribbon in place. If my um, um, masking tape was playing ball, I, I would put a piece of masking tape over it, but its stick has stopped sticking. So I'm not using that. So that's going to come down to the bottom. And the bird still peeps out round it. And then at the bottom, it is a little bit short. But I've got this piece here. And this again is what Jean from Inky Owl Studio does. So that will go on there. That's about right, actually, isn't it? And then that, that will flip round there so that is actually going to glue onto that bit so I'm going to hold that tight down there and I'm going to put glue where am I going to put the glue I'm going to put it across the bottom and up a little ways just level that up Without it moving. Art glitter glue is very unforgiving. Although this isn't art glitter glue, but it's it's the same, a lot cheaper, but the same. It's a high tack glue. So that's on there. Did I still get it right? Yeah, I've got a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom, so that's perfect. So I'll just add a little bit extra glue here just to hold this top bit down. I didn't put the glue quite high enough, did I? There we go. Sorted. Sorted. Apologies if this is a disjointed um, video. It's not what I wanted it to be, obviously. So that's nice and glued on there. We've got one, two, three, four flips. I put some extra paper on the fronts and backs of mine just because I wanted to decorate it but obviously you don't have to but I love that that is really pretty Then that will pull down there and that will go around there so I can cut that off and that holds that shut then and then I'm going to stick this on here um, and I'm going to use it as a tuck there as like a kind of belly band I think so I'm going to put glue there there and there and stick it on I'm just going to switch you off while I do that um, so I can get my head over and make sure I centralize it bear with me one moment okay thank you for being patient there we are I've glued it on and I did it wrong <laughs> after saying I was going to leave it as a belly band I actually started to put glue down that side so all that I've done is I've glued it at the top and I've glued it at the bottom and then it is honest it, it it is a belly band that goes all the way through so that can have something tucked in there see it works it's just a little bit damp and sticky so I'm going to leave that piece of card in there just to remind myself that I want to make something to go in there but that should be stuck so I'm happy with that so that's that page done so that closes like that and that's the back page, isn't it? OK, so now we're going to turn it over and well, I'm going to leave that flat, actually. And again, I probably should have done this page before that because of the. I can open that out, though. Sorry, right, I'm talking to myself. Don't panic, everybody. Right. So for this page, what I wanted to do, not that one, this one. Let me just open that so that that's not bobbling in my way that's better what I want to do on this page is I'm going to add a piece of the blue paper on to that 
can't be the right paper. Oh, don't put it over that bit. I was going right over there, wasn't I? Um, I'm not going to have this as a pocket, I've decided. Um, it's quite tight if you had it as a pocket. I think in Dawn's, I think she put um, papers into this spine, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to do something different. Um, so that's going to go on there. Is there a right and a wrong way for that? I guess not, but we'll see. So that's going to go on there. And what I was preparing um, when I thought you were with me and you weren't, was a couple of extra envelopes so it's a bit bendy because I've only glued on one side so I've got an envelope here and I'm going to put that there I love that gargoyle I think he's wonderful this envelope and of course these papers are all from the travel kit that envelope is going to go into there like that and then on this side I've got this window envelope and I've put some images on the back but that needs covering on the back as well as a writing space. And that is going to go on there. And then I'm going to put a grommet thing there and a tie so it pulls that closed as well. So um, we've got a few minutes left. So I'm going to do that with you now. So let me move that out the way somewhere. There we go. It's just so that I don't get everything all mucked up. So this is going to go on the one side. So what I need to do, ignore the back because that's getting covered up. I'm going to put that as a writing space. That's not long enough, but that would be. If I do it that way, that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I'm going to put that on there. So how big do I need it to be? I don't think this envelope is quite square. Um, but that's no worries, I can square it up when it's done. I'd rather have it that little bit bigger than smaller. I'm not going to see those lines now, am I? <laughs> oh dear, you know, if it could go wrong, it has today. It really, really has. I'm going to cut it that bit bigger. And then I'm going to trim it off when I've glued it on. How's that? I think that's about the best thing for me to do today. Go to bed and start again, I think. And there's my mark there. So I'm going to cut that a bit bigger as well. There we go. I'm getting there, folks. I am getting there. So that's going to go on there. So that when you flip it over, you've got a um, writing space. So I'm just going to glue that onto there. And then I can trim round it and it will be perfectly nice and neat. It won't be messy. Honest. Gosh, it takes quite a lot of glue in. It's quite a big piece of paper, actually. Make sure I've got it well and truly around the edges. I wonder if I should stitch this one around the edge. Hmm. I haven't stitched any of the others, but then it's, it's a bit different, this one, isn't it? So I want that to go into that edge but not all the way in because I still want that to fold over that could do nicely this is one of those double envelopes um, uh, Rachel Rox's creation sent me a couple so I've just stuck I don't know if you can see I've stuck a picture of the world and it says eastern hemisphere on there and then I've put a lady there I've just used the papers to put on okay everything's gooey sticky everything all right I'm going to leave that to dry a little minute um, and then I'm going to look at these so I want to put a back on there because it's that's going to be a pocket there I'm going to have a side pocket in there and then this one is going to be a top pocket up there um, so I want to put a back on that as well. And I want these, I think, to be writing spaces. Should we do them a different colour? I've got this left over. I think I will. I quite like that green spot. It's like a graph paper. These are from um, Brigida as well. And these are the ledger, watercolour ledger papers. So will that cover there? It will indeed. 
you need to be careful because I don't want to glue on that bit, do I? So how big do I need this to be? About three inches wide. Let's go three inches. Does that look about right? Yeah, might need to trim a little bit. Three inches wide. And then height wise. Oh, look at me. Oh, Carol. Right, try again, love. Try again. Right. So I want this to be three inches wide. Use that for something else. Cut the top off there. And then how deep is it? It needs to be about four and a half. Maybe a bit more than four and a half. So I'll do it a little bit bigger. You can always cut it smaller if you need to. I think that'll fit all right, actually. Yep, that's going to go on there OK. Um, I would like to put some ink round the edge. Times the ticking. Put some glue on that. So I know a few of you from the comments that you've put have um, are giving this a try as well, or you've already um, followed Jean. Oh, Carol, you've put glue all down there. Right, I'm going to switch myself off a minute and come back because I've done it again. I've glued everywhere on that paper. One minute. Okay, you're back with me. I don't know what it is with me today. My brain just doesn't seem to want to. Um, to operate with me so what have I got I've got an envelope here that I've now covered on the back remembering not to cover this bit but I have glued down there and this one which I did wrong before I've left a space at the top to put a card or something in there so that'll be a journal space um, do I want to put a little cut, cut in there find a circle punch I probably would so that's going to be oh I bet I can't fit this in here now <laughs> if something's going to go wrong today it'll go wrong I've lost the bit in there it is so that's okay like that do I need something across the top there just to hide that I think I probably do I think I probably do. I'll just cut. Oh, <laughs> very sticky. Very sticky. I'm just going to put this in the back there just so that it um, hides the back of that envelope. And it'll just add a bit of reinforcement to that back as well. Oh, catch it, Carol, quickly. Cut a little bit extra off there. Well, if anybody can follow this video, it'll be an absolute miracle. You'll get marks out of 10 from me. I think I just wanted to put this final page together for you so that you can just see what I'm doing. Um, I can't wait to see what you all do. Or if you have done this project already, you know, give us a shout. I'd love to see it. want to go in there either did it no it didn't but I can cut that off it's not a problem let's just snip that little bit off there okay okie dokie yeah I'm happy with that don't go and glue together okay <laughs> doesn't want to let go Right, so that's going to go that way and that is going to stick in there. So I need some glue on there. So that's what I'm just going to do now. Let's put some glue on there. I'm just going to put a little bit of ink that. Sorry if I'm bumping you folks. Right, a little bit of glue, or as much as I can dare put on there. Because I don't want it coming out, do I? certainly don't so that's going to go in there like 
that. And it's going to fit like that. I think that's in as far as it'll go. It doesn't seem to want to go any further, but it feels like it should. There we go. Yeah, it felt like it should just slide in that little bit further. I just want to squash that down. Ta-da! That's a proud moment for me because I've got it sorted. Um, my piece of paper so that you can just see where that's going to go. So that's going to go on there like that inside the journal so I'm just going to prep the other one and then we can put it together and you can see what I'm trying to get so one moment folks okay folks um I'm back again I'm sorry if this video has been a bit disjointed but I've I think I've just about cracked it now um so what I'm going to do is I'm attaching both of these envelopes onto this backing like so and then I'll have to think of a, a kind of closure to do it put on it before I um um, stick this fully down onto the actual booklet so I'm going to put glue this on here I suppose I could have cut some of that off I don't need all of that do I but that's okay because it's going to get stuck down as well so that's on there so that will flip like that and it will flip like that and then this one is going to go on here like that glue that on there I think there's no end to um, what sorts of pockets and flips and things you can put on these if you make them um, and I think it was Amy Crafty Cat made a comment and said you could um, use this doing Christmas cards and that would be fabulous wouldn't it all right, let's get the book. Just so that we can see what it is I've been faffing around with. So you're not going to see that as such when you open it, are you? Because this is going to be kind of the middle. And that is going to go on there like that. OK, it'll have some sort of closure coming across to here. So maybe a piece of ribbon under there and a one of those discs I, I can never remember what they're called and that will open up that way so you've got some writing space just there and then that will open there some writing space and that will open there some writing space so that I think and that will close like that so if you can see it's getting it's getting fuller than it was so that's where I'm at at the moment so we've got the front cover the back cover that's going to stick on there and then we've got the birds and those there. So I hope you like it. I'm sorry again for my um, disjointedness, but I will, I promise to get better next time. I think the next time you see this, I'll probably do a flip through. So thank you so much for joining me. Take care, everyone. I really appreciate you. Bye.